So today we're going to be talking about uh, the research, obviously, and you're also going to be working on some solutions, starting to think about solutions and how to accelerate change. My focus will be uh, women in leadership. Uh, not so much women on boards, but on leadership, what's happening in, in organizations. Okay, so a little different slant, but of course very important to becoming uh, eligible to be on boards is moving up the chain of command. If you do the math and you project forward, it will take us about 400 years at this current rate, the current trajectory, to attain 50% of the CEO positions. How's that sound? No, we need to change that. And a lot of the work that people are doing hopefully will make inroads and I know, know that it will. So, you know, you think what is holding women back? And it's interesting because it's really not in some ways what people think. Are there really gender differences? And a lot of people say no. Women are exactly equal and all this, okay? You'll hear those stories. Or it's, or it's uh, inappropriate for me to say there might be differences. Well, I'm gonna be inappropriate today. Okay, because there are some differences. And women are not viewed as courageous enough and they become invisible to the people, the decision makers and the succession planning people. Men stand their ground, fight for resources. They seem, you know, leader-like, push hard, they're aggressive. And that's what we expect in leadership. But it's not always effective, especially when it's a risk showing. We have to be champions for other women and we have to help them see their beauty, their gifts and help push them along. I mean, that's basically, you know, my role now is pushing people along, helping them see their gifts. That's what I do. So I have like the coolest job in the world. Thank you so much. Hope to link with you.